So, would you willingly take a child and expose them to radiation if they weren't sick? These are my kids, and the answer is I did, because I've read a lot of literature, I've done a lot of research, and I've been doing this for 30 years, and I know the radiation I'm exposing my kids to in this picture is absolutely harmless, zero, okay? This is Harry and Roberta 10 years ago, and there was a snow day in Canada, which meant I was stuck with the kids. They don't go to school, they close the schools, I'm stuck with the kids. I gotta bring them to McMaster University. So I volunteered them to get irradiated. Now when they told their teacher this the next day, she was mortified, but nonetheless, they got irradiated. And so why would I do that? What is the benefits of that? If there's no risk, what are the benefits? Well, one benefit is I got free babysitting for an hour while I went to a meeting, because it took an hour to scan them both. Number two is I got a measure of their bone density, because it's important to understand how bones develop. And number three, they were part of a study looking at normal bone de development in young children. Because it's hard to get people to volunteer normal children to give, get a bone scan, because you're giving radiation to a perfectly healthy individual. So I had no issues with this, because of, I, I, I believe and I know that this dose is harmless. And it's something like four bananas worth of dose. When you explain it to people in that context, they can say, well, okay, it's four bananas worth of dose. The other thing when you do this kind of stuff with radiation, you can get um, extra added value out of it. For example, not only did they do my kids, I insisted if they do my kids, they do my wife and I. And that afforded me the opportunity to make a Christmas card. <laughs> now, there's one thing about this is that if you look at it, it mortified my mother and, and mortified a lot of people because they thought we were dead or something, but it didn't matter. <laughs> if, if you looked at the bone scans of my children, they were perfectly normal. They're within the normal range of all the other children. Unfortunately, the guy in the end that says, Doug, if you looked at my bone scan, there was a big problem with it. Never volunteer for something you don't want to know the answer to. And I've done that a lot at McMaster. And what happened was I asked them, where am I on the scale? X, Y axis, I'm up somewhere where the title was. I'm not even on the, the thing in terms of bone density. I said, well, what does that mean? Don't know, never seen it before. So the only thing I can come up with is it has to do with the amount of Chardonnay I drink. That's the only thing I can think of. 